Tesla is likely to receive substantial tax benefits of up to $360 million for its Giga Nevada expansion, which was announced last month. According to documents disclosed, Tesla will be excused from paying payroll and property taxes for the next 10 years, as well as paying reduced sales tax for the next 20. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at everything you need to know about Tesla's tax break for the Giga Nevada expansion plan. Tesla received a $330,250,366 tax rebate from the Nevada Governor's Office of Economic Development Board. Given Tesla's plans to invest $3.6 billion in expanding Gigafactory Nevada in Story County, the state board granted the abatement. According to the GoEd board, Tesla's $3.6 billion capital investment in Giga Nevada could earn $685 million in net state and local revenues over the following 20 years. The following are the taxes Tesla might generate if it invests the entire $3.6 billion in land, buildings, and equipment for Giga Nevada. Tesla is required to pay an annual minimum of $53 million in real and personal property taxes, as well as modified business taxes relating to Giga Nevada beginning July 1st, 2024, and continuing into perpetuity. The $53 million in taxes were part of Tesla's initial tax abatement arrangement with the state, which was signed in 2014. Tesla has well exceeded every commitment they made dating back to 2014, remarked GoEd Board Chair Governor Joe Lombardo. To date, they have invested $6.2 billion in Nevada, constructing a 5.4 million square foot gigafactory that has produced 17,000 local construction jobs and more than 11,000 high paying permanent jobs. Tesla revealed plans to expand Giga Nevada in January of 2020. The expansion involves a new manufacturing footprint of 4 million square feet, 3,000 new jobs, and two new manufacturing sites. A 100 gigawatt cell facility dedicated to Tesla's 4680 battery is one of the new facilities. Tesla's semi-factory will be the other manufacturing facility. Tesla's 100 gigawatt battery cell factory in Nevada is planned to manufacture enough batteries to power 1.5 million light duty vehicles each year. During a prior earnings call, Andrew Baglino mentioned that some of the 4680 cells manufactured in Nevada will be used in semi-trucks. Elon Musk stated that the remaining 4680 Giga Nevada cells would be used in Tesla's future vehicles fitted with the company's next generation architecture. Musk said during the Investor Day 2023 that Tesla's forthcoming Gigafactory Mexico would create the first of the company's next generation auto automobiles. The company's major purpose of GoEd since its creation has been to diversify Nevada's economy, said Tom Burns, executive director. The Nevada Tesla agreement solidified a new economic sector in Nevada for the assembly of electric car battery packs and drive units and energy storage items. Tesla's Gigafactory accelerated Nevada's manufacturing business, making lithium-ion batteries the state's eighth largest largest export both nationally and internationally. Burns noted, as part of the prospective agreement with Story County, where Tesla's Giga Nevada project is located, Tesla will be eligible for an $81.4 million in tax rebates over the following 20 years. Commonly known as the Tesla Gigafactory, the company stated in January that it would invest an extra $3.6 billion in the project to increase semi-output. Tesla Semi began delivery with Frito-Lay and parent company PepsiCo in December. The tax break is intended to keep Tesla in the area and provide considerable tax reductions as the automaker's new investment will create 3,000 new jobs. Nonetheless, the tax abatement proposal must still be approved by a state board. The Governor's Office of Economic Development, or GOED, GOED, met on Thursday Nevada Governor Joseph Lombardo, Lieutenant Governor Stavros Anthony 
Secretary of State Cisco Aguilar, and six others from the private sector are among members, according to Las Vegas Review Journal. The state is scheduled for three days after the details of the possible abatement scheme were made public. A non-disclosure agreement, or NDA, was signed, and some criticized Tesla for using an NDA to keep the data confidential. Senator Dina Neal stated last week that NDAs, quote, shouldn't protect major firms and prevent the legislature and the public form seeking the full impact of taxes that would be waived in exchange for an economic development package. Following the revelation of the terms of the abatement package, Neil continued to criticize the short delay between the decisions and tax benefits being made public, calling it insufficient. Neil's concerns stem from the fact that there may not be enough time to assess how this big abatement package will influence other things such as housing supply, public schools, and safety, and other critical government services in the region, according to a statement. By the way, if you are watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Coming back to the topic, in 2014, Tesla earned roughly $1.3 billion in incentives spread across 20 years. According to Story County manager Austin Osborne, the initial round of abatements had, quote, good influence on the region. He says, we feel under the first gigafactory that such abatements were advantages to the community in northern Nevada. They supply jobs, employment, and careers, as well as a major beneficial regional budgetary impacts. Osborne added, Tesla's Nevada Gigafactory will significantly be expanded, allowing it to mass build the Tesla Semi and generate 100 gigawatts of 46 80 batteries cells each year. Yet, while the concept of Giga Nevada expansion is appealing, Nevada state officials signed a non-disclosure agreement with the EV maker in the late February that kept the details of the prospective tax advantages for the $3.6 billion project hidden. According to a report from the Associated Press, the governor's economic development office released the tax abatement request on February 27th. The date was three days before the office was scheduled to to vote on Giga Nevada's expansion eligibility for tax advantages. While physical growth of Gigafactory Nevada has been halted for several years, planned work on the plant would make it into one of Tesla's most essential locations worldwide. The Tesla Semi would be mass produced on site, and Musk indicated that the Giga Nevada's 4680 plant may be scaled up to 500 gigawatts in the long run while announcing the proposal to Tesla staff. Nevada governor Joe Lombardo is upbeat about the project, especially since the Giga Nevada expansion is estimated to create 3,000 new jobs in northern Nevada. Economic development is important, he says. I am pleased to announce that Nevada is once again available for businesses effective immediately, Governor Lombardo said. Gigafactory tax breaks are nothing new in Nevada. When Tesla announced its first $3.5 billion investment in northern Nevada in 2014, the electric vehicle manufacturer was granted approximately $1.25 billion in tax breaks over a 20-year period. The sum was one of the largest of its store in the country at the time. According to Nevada's Governor Office of Economic Development's most recent report, Tesla has received nearly $410 million in tax breaks since 2014. Tesla stated earlier this month that it would invest $3.6 billion to enhance battery and semi-production at its facilities near Reno, Nevada. But the specific of Tesla's request will not be made public until just a few days before they vote, which Neil opposes. It is time for the legislator to re-examine the delegation of authority for tax abatements. Neil, chair of Senate Review and Economic Development Committee, told this to Reno. The power of the purse is legislative in nature. It is our ability to balance the state's checkbook. But present law creates an imbalance of power that hinders the legislator from providing sufficient monitoring and evaluation of tax abatements. The NDA appears to be most contentious issue for Neil, especially given the size of the abatement package, and there should be more time for the public and government to evaluate the implications of such a large tax relief. Neil and Nevada Senator Fabian Doate both stated that specifics about the tax abatement scheme should be voiced 
before the vote. He says, I understand the NDA process and some of the work you guys are doing. It is not directed at your administration or any individual. I believe it is more about the process. Neil is also opposed to the go ahead postpone the final review of the new abatement package for a month. Neil feels it will give the public ample time to study it after the NDA expires. And with that being said, it is time to end our video right there. But before we go, we'd like to know your thoughts about the Giga Nevada expansion. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and like this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos just like this and we'll see you in the next one.